Hello students, in my last class I have discussed about the resistors in parallel and also the expressions for electric power, the unit of electric power and how to reduce the power dissipation in the electrical cables. And today my topic of discussion is about uh, cell EMF internal resistance. First, we know that if you consider any resistor or a conductor, in order to make the current to flow through this resistor, what we need is a device called a cell or a battery. This is a cell. Combination of two or more cells is called as battery. So the cell is a device which maintains the constant potential difference across the ends of a circuit or ends of a conductor so that a current I flows through the circuit. Now, in cells, we can find different types of cells. A dry cell, electrolytic cell, likewise. So, if you consider an electrolytic cell, how does it look like? We have two metal electrodes which are dipped Yes, the two metal electrodes which are dipped inside the electrolytic solution so that these electrodes when it is dipped inside the electrolytic solution it exchanges the charges so that one of the electrode develops a positive potential of V plus with respect to the electrolytic solution and the other electrode develops the negative potential that is V minus. So, when we dip these two electrodes inside the electrolytic solution, the electrodes develops the potential difference among them. So that there is a constant potential difference of V between the two electrodes of a cell. Even though the cell is not connected with any external circuit, the cell is not connected with an external circuit. We have only two electrodes which are dipped inside the electrolytic solution. But still, these two electrodes will be having a, a potential difference between them. So, that potential difference is called as EMF. The potential difference between the two electrodes of a cell when no current is flowing through the cell. Suppose, if I connect this cell to an external source like this, we have connected the cell with an external resistor. We have connected this with an external resistor. Now what happens because of the potential difference current flows through this external resistor. Current I flows through the external resistor. So even though we have not connected this external resistor there is a constant potential difference between the two ends of a cell. So that potential difference is called EMF which is written as electromotive force electro motive force so in your examination you may have a question about emf the definition of emf how one can define emf emf is the potential difference between the two ends of a cell or two electrodes of a cell when no current is flowing through it so we have not connected this external resistor but still the potential difference is there. So that potential difference is known as EMF. I will write the definition of EMF now. EMF is the potential difference between the two ends of a cell when no current is no current is drawn from it or when no current flows through it this is the definition of emf you can define emf in one more way how can you define emf see i told you that when no current is flowing through the cell the potential difference is called as emf 
so we have not connected this circuit mains the circuit is open that is why you can define emf also as i will write it here emf also as potential difference between the two ends of a cell in open circuit open circuit which means we have not connected the external resistor so this is the definition of emf potential difference between the two ends of a cell when no current is drawn from it that is one definition and another another definition is written as potential difference between the two ends of a cell in an open circuit we have connected an external resistor r across this cell so that current i flows through the external circuit so current i flows through this external resistor so we can write the potential difference across the resistor as v is equal to i into r this is from ohm's law we know that current into resistance is potential so now let us write the potential difference this v for a cell so if the current i is flowing in the external circuit from positive end to the negative end so i told you that this is a positive potential or positive electrode which is called as anode and this is a cathode so outside or externally the current flows from positive to negative electrode now if you consider the direction of current inside the cell the direction of current will be opposite to this means the current flows from negative electrode to positive electrode inside the cell so that circuit can complete now if you write the potential across this cell potential v that can be written as e minus of i into r the potential difference between the ends of a cell is known as emf in an open circuit when the circuit is closed current is flowing through it so that potential difference between the ends of a cell is written as e minus of i into r so this term i into r arises because inside the cell for the flow of current there is an opposition so that opposition is known as internal resistance the small r represents the internal resistance of a cell so when current flows from this end to this end inside the solution there is an opposition so that opposition may arises because of the temperature of the solution and it also depends on the concentration of the solution and nature of electrodes likewise so because of the resistance inside the cell this term arises therefore potential difference v is written as e minus of i into r this potential difference is termed as terminal potential difference terminal potential difference yes so this is the expression for terminal potential difference v is equal to e minus of i into r where this r is called internal resistance internal resistance what is internal resistance internal resistance is the resistance offered by the cell inside it that is why it is called as internal resistance this one is a external resistor but this is internal resistance because the resistance is inside the cell yes this is the expression for terminal potential difference so how can you define the terminal potential difference then terminal potential difference is the potential difference between the ends of a cell when the circuit is closed or when current is flowing through the cell this is the definition of terminal potential difference now you can uh, differentiate uh, between emf and uh, terminal potential difference emf is a, a potential difference across the ends of a cell in open circuit or when no current is flowing through the cell now the terminal potential difference is defined as it is the potential difference across the ends when current is flowing through it or you can say that you know closed circuit that is the definition of uh, terminal potential difference if you consider an ideal cell for an ideal cell what is ideal cell for an ideal cell r is equal to 0 which means 
the internal resistance is equal to zero ideal cell is a cell where internal resistance is equal to zero so in that case what happens is if you put that uh, case that uh, r is equal to zero in this equation e minus of i into r so that e minus this r is zero so therefore i into zero we get v is equal to e which means for an ideal cell the terminal potential difference is equal to emf of a cell that is an ideal case but practically the internal resistance is not zero for any cells next now we should derive the expression for current through the cell let us derive the expression for current through the cell so just now we have written an expression for terminal potential difference we know that we know that v is equal to e minus of i into r this is the expression for uh, terminal potential difference but from ohm's law from ohm's law v can be written as i into capital r that is potential difference across the resistor so here the potential difference v across this resistor is written as i into r therefore i will write that as v is equal to i into r now put this value of v here so that we get instead of this v i will write i into r i into r that is equal to emf e minus of i into small r now take this uh, i into r towards the right hand, left hand side so that i r plus i into small r is equal to e now i is common here therefore r plus r is equal to v so i is equal to e divided by r plus r so we get the expression for current flowing through the cell which is given by i is equal to e divided by r plus r where this i is current e is the emf of a cell next r is the external resistance and this small r is internal resistance so that expression i is equal to e divided by r plus r is the expression for current flowing through the cell so this will be asked for two marks in your examination write the expression and explain the terms or you may get three marks uh, question for derivation derive an expression for current through the cell i is equal to e divided by r plus r next we will see on what factors does internal resistance of a cell depends so i have already explained you that internal resistance is the opposition made by the cell for the flow of current inside it that is uh, resistance inside the cell on what factors does the internal resistance of a cell depends internal resistance depends on the temperature so it depends on temperature of the solution if the temperature is high then the resistance will be also high because you know that uh, resistance is directly proportional to the temperature so it depends on temperature of the solution next it depends on nature of electrodes and also on the dimensions of the electrode the size and shape of the electrodes so it depends on nature of electrodes next concentration of electrolytes the internal resistance of the cell depends on the concentration of electrolytic solution so you can remember these three factors so that you can write in examination so what on the, uh, what are the factors on which the internal resistance of a cell depends one is uh, temperature and the other one is nature of electrodes next concentration of electrolytes inside the solution so these are the factors on which internal resistance depends yes so up to now what we have studied is what is an emf of a cell emf is the potential difference across the ends of a cell in a open circuit next what is terminal potential difference and what is its expression terminal potential difference is nothing but the potential difference across the ends of a cell when the current is flowing through it or in a closed circuit the expression for 
terminal potential difference is written as V is equal to E minus of I into R, where the small r is known as internal resistance of a cell. And we derived an expression for current through the cell as I is equal to E divided by R plus R. And the internal resistance is the resistance of a cell inside it. And these are the factors on which the internal resistance depends. Thank you.